Hello, I'm Mr. C, and today I'm going to teach you about the faces of 3D shapes. You might go, Mr. C, no! You're flat! I'm 2D right now, and I'm going to try to teach you about three-dimensional things in the real world around you. I'm going to do my best, okay? We're going to learn about the faces of 3D figures. Go ahead and ask me, Mr. C, why do we have to learn this? Well, you want to be able to talk about shapes, right? I mean, you should. Uh, and And... And maybe you want to build something one day. There's lots of different jobs and professions that require you to be able to talk about shapes. And the face of a shape is really an important vocabulary word. So let's link that vocab word, the face of a shape, to the real world and what it actually is. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you two shapes. Now, I picked some easier ones that I think you might be familiar with. The first one's a pyramid, and the second one is a cube. You've probably seen these shapes somewhere around you before, right? Think like Egypt and the Sphinxes, and you know how they've got that flat base at the bottom, and it comes to a, a tippy little point at the top? Okay, that's a pyramid. And then a cube, if you've ever rolled a dice, well, then you've rolled a cube, right? Dice, uh, six-sided dice at least, are cubes, okay? So let's talk about where the faces of these shapes are now okay now this is a pyramid all right faces are just the flat parts of the shape okay so if you look and you're thinking of the pyramid look here's the flat part right here i'm not going to scribble it in but i want you to imagine right see this big tr flat triangle here that is face number one and then look Here's another one over here. See how it's a big flat triangle? If you were holding this pyramid in your hand, it would be flat, you could touch it. There's another face. Well, now look, here's another pyramid, or here's, there's another one on the back that we can't see. You have to imagine that that face is there, right? There's a third face back there, and then here's another face over on this side of the pyramid that we can't see. Okay, so if you imagine looking down at the pyramid, you can see it has one, two, three, four sides looking down from the top. Those are all faces. Now there's another face. There's one on the bottom. Look, this one's shaped differently. It's not a triangle. It's going to be a square, but it's still a flat side of the shape. It's a face. So we've got four that all come to a point at the top up here, and we've got one square face on the bottom. How many faces are on a pyramid? Four plus one is five. All right, now this one's going to be a little easier for you to understand. A cube. Okay, now imagine you roll a dice. How many numbers are there on a, on a single die? Well, there's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So how many faces are there on a cube? Six, right? We put a number on each face. Here's the flat part on top. There's a, there's a face. Here's a flat side, or here's a flat face over here. Here's a flat face over here. Now there's one on the bottom, right? Let's put a tally for that one. There's one on the bottom, and then there's one over on the other side of this edge over here, right? There's a flat side over there, and then there's another flat side that we can't see over here. So in a cube, how many faces are there? Well, we've got one, two, three that we can see in this picture, and then one two, three that we cannot see in this picture. There are six faces on a cube. Different shapes have different number of faces. They're much easier to count if you're holding it, right? You can run your hand along it and feel that is flat. That is a face, okay? Um, so that's how you would identify in the real world, but you're going to have to kind of imagine them in pictures as well. All right, I hope you learned a little bit about the faces of geometric shapes. I'll see you next time for vertices.